Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to use the Postman within the VS Code. So let's begin. As an automation engineer, what we do is that we use the Postman for the API testing, right? So Postman is already open and we do our testing over here, right? But what if I need this Postman inside the VS Code because we use VS Code for the automation testing, writing the same name scripts or maybe writing some other scripts, right? So these are two different tools. Okay. Now what we need to do is that we need that postman within this VS code. So for that, what we need to do is that we need to go to this extensions over here and we need to search for postman. And this is the first one and just click on install. So it will install and here, meanwhile, you can see that you can do pretty much similar within the vs code itself right so it's installing here and first thing you need to do is that you need to sign in so that you can sync your api development or the testing okay so simply click on here and you can log in this or simply you can open this one and log in right so open or simply sign in and into your account so already signed into the web browser on my side. So it will automatically pick up the data and it will simply log me in here. Okay. So this is the first step you need to do. So that in order to have all the data sync. Okay. And once it would be done here, you can see that we have this postman icon available here in order to have a postman within the vs code now okay so we need to wait for some time because it's signing in and it should redirect me back to the vs code okay so open this one and we are good to go so let's go here and you see that this is already installed here and now you see that all my API collection is coming over here. And how these are coming over here? The reason is that my Postman account is sync. Everything is sync on my Postman account. So if I go you here and the actual Postman, you see that I have some APIs coming up over here, right? And similarly, in the Visual Studio Code, you can see that I am getting this API. So let's go here and run this sample API here. So you see that uh, it's just like we are using the postman within, you know, within the VS code and you can do pretty much everything which you do in the postman itself. So simply if I run this one, you will see that the API got hit and we got the response. We can write the test. We can do, let's go to the here and here you can see that we can use the snippet for the testing. Like for example, status code. Is less than this one send this again you see that one test pass and in a similar way what you can do is that you can use the api so simply it's a little bit different uh, in terms of uh, the ui but pretty much similar in terms of uh, how you, you should use it okay so simply if you want to make a new request click here and simply let me copy this complete because from here and paste it here and send this one so we are just using the postman within the vs code so that's that's how it is easy to use this postman so there are obviously some uh, some features which are not available here which for example post board is not available here and some other features are not available available but the basic features of the postman are available here within the vs code so you can test and work with the API. So it is really easy because you, you, you don't need to change the interface. You are working in the VS code. You are writing your automation script. At the same time, just you are switching here and there and testing the APIs at the same time. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.